Why can't I use a supraglottic airway when the patient has epiglottitis? Let me show you where this issue ends up being. So here's the mouth right here going behind the tongue with this supraglottic airway and it's going to sit in the esophagus. This is where the balloon is going to end up being positioned right here. Now once this is in place, what you'll notice is that this is the epiglottis right here. So that's the epiglottis. Now in epiglottitis, likely what's going to happen is that it's it's looks more like this and it's probably sitting like this. So it's probably just about totally occluded right here. Uh, the whole issue with the supraglottic airway is that you're not getting past the obstruction because this is the glottic opening right here. This is the epiglottis. And probably what's going to happen is that supraglottic airway is just going to smush this epiglottis up against the glottic opening and then we won't have any way of ventilating the patient still.